Hi, this is Bob working on the SS9000 restoration here. This has been quite a project. This thing has had a lot of uh, parts that were missing, a lot of, uh, lot of things that were wrong, uh, needed a lot of repairs. Now on this unit here, this is the PA unit, I've got it mounted on the heat sink. I've got it connected up on the test bench. Here's the input line with an adapter there that I made up. Here's the output with an adapter. I've got the uh, bird watt meter, 100 watt slug in there. So I can uh, read and there's a dummy load mounted over on the bench. Underneath the bench. And uh, so uh, to go through this here now, I changed these two transistors here, driver transistors. And you notice I made up a couple of uh, homemade uh, well, they were actually factory heat sinks, but I modified them to fit down in there so that I can use those on those transistors. You got to be really careful because you can short out with this uh, with this original heat sink that comes up the side here. And I trimmed the edges of those down on that. I took that off and trimmed it. And so, uh, anyhow, here is the uh, the driver transistors here. Like I say, I made new heat sinks and. Uh, I uh, rewound this transformer here, which is the output for the uh, for the driver transistor here. The two final transistors were bad in the original. I had picked up about eight pull-out transistors at a ham fest, and they just you know they look pretty raggedy, but they were pulled out of some circuit boards, and so I uh, I went through those with the HFE uh, transistor meter and matched up two of them and they seem to be working pretty good. I found two of them that were good. So that's what I've got. I've got these uh, switches here all set to 160 meters. Now 160 meters was the band that was the hardest to get working properly on this. So uh, I've got it set to 160 meters and I'm turning it on today for the very first time as a test here on the workbench. I'm driving this with the ICOM 746 I'm using a 10 dB attenuator. This is a 50 ohm attenuator, so it's got a good load for the 746. I'm using a 20 dB attenuator, which is 50 ohms also, and that is feeding a 10 dB home brew attenuator back here. So I got 10, 20, 30 dBs of attenuation before we come into the input of this circuit board. So it's going to arrive here at 150 200 milliwatts that's all so here's the whole setup here so I'm going to crank it on here and we'll see if she works okay now I've got the ICOM turned all the way down and we're showing 20 watts I got a couple of wires hanging in the way there 20 watts on the bird meter and just for the fun of it I'm going to kick it up here run the power up there's our 100 watts output no problem. In fact, we can peg the meter. This is on 160, which is the hardest one to get working on this. Uh, something I wanted to mention on here, let me turn the transmitter off. Something I wanted to mention on here is that, I'm really happy with the way this thing's working, uh, on here is that uh, these little capacitors, you see them here, the focus is not the best. Uh, this one right here, there's one right here, there's another one right down in there. Those little guys there were chip caps. And uh, those things can crack on the ends and you can't even see it. So this thing used to take off and oscillate and I think that's how the finals were fried. So what I have done is I have replaced those chip caps with ordinary ceramic capacitors. And uh, this one down in here is a .68 monolithic here. This is a 001 at 2kV. The secret is to get those right down smack on the board so there is no wire lead inductance at all. So I've changed those caps. There's also one back here behind this transformer down in here, and I changed that one too. So that solved the oscillation problem in the final, and I wanted to mention that to you. I also changed these resistors here. There's some 3.9 ohm and 3.3 ohms. I took those out, and those had all changed in value. Uh, so I changed those out. There's a guy on eBay sells them 35 for a dollar 29 and then you pay about three dollars shipping and handling So I changed all of those with nice new ones I also rewound this tour right here because this winding here was kind of banged up on top and the insulation was torn So I rewound that 
I also found that this jumper here with the phono connector on it was bad. It was shorting out inside. So I took that off and made a new one. So that's the whole deal there. And like I say, it's working really good. Let me turn it back on transmit here. And I've only got it running the 20 watts right now. But I've got a oscilloscope here. We can look at the output. And I'm on the output. And believe it or not, that is the 160 meter output from the SS9000 transmitter PA board. Just touching the probe to the output jack on the PA board. That's beautiful sine wave. So everything's working like it should, and I'm a happy camper. So we're really doing fine. We did have a problem. Found out that the readout tube, the vacuum fluorescent display, is cracked. So I'm stuck right now looking for one of those. Those are very hard to find. But uh, right now I think that's all this rig needs is to find that display. So it may be a while before I get that taken care of. So that's it guys. Just wanted to show you the progress. This is segment number three in this uh, series. 73's and good DX.